Are you using HamShack Hotline? If not, I highly recommend checking out this free service. You can check them out at hamshackhotline.com. It is a free service for all licensed ham radio operators. Check it out today. Specifically, I'll be talking about how to change the wallpaper on your Cisco 525G phone. Let's get started. Now, I'll start by answering a question that I know you guys have. What's that expansion unit you're using? It's really cool looking. This is the Cisco SPA 500DS. All the information will be in the description below. Did I need it for this? No. Is it awesome and great to have for extra extensions? Absolutely. Getting back on topic for the video for today, the wallpaper size is 320 by 195, and I want to give a big thanks to Frank KB2MXV for the information. Uh, this is just an example wallpaper that I put on here using an external URL, which only it only accepts HTTP URLs. Let me clear this real quick. And it will not accept external images from HTTPS, so keep that in mind. I just tossed up a quick, simple image server on my network that I used for this that I'll show you guys how I set it up right here on the Cisco web dashboard. But to get to the web interface of your Cisco phone, you'll need to know the IP address of the phone. So here's how you find the IP address of your phone. On the Cisco 525, there's a paper icon here. You press that, and then we will scroll down all the way down here, all the way down to status, click on status and go to network status. And then from here, you'll see the IP address right here. And this is the IP that you'll punch into your browser to access the web interface. And of course, the IP address listed here for you will most likely be different than mine. All right, here we are on the Cisco 525G web interface. Once again, I'll just point out here, we are on 192.168.1.86 forward slash admin forward slash advance. It's very important that you do the forward slash admin forward slash advance. And then to change that image, we click on this user tab or button, whatever you want to call it. And then from here, we scroll all the way down at the bottom. And here you can see where it says BMP picture download URL. That is where you put in your image URL. And once you put that image in, you want to make sure again, I'll reiterate it. It, it cannot be HTTPS. It has to be HTTP. Then you click submit all changes and that will change the image on your phone. One last thing I want to show you guys is I did set up a simple wallpaper image host here. So if you guys want to come here and check it out, it's just walls.w5jer.com. I'll have that link in the description below as well. You can see I have a few here. I might add some more in here. Um, a lot of these will be replaced with the proper image size, which is, which is this one here up in the top left corner. Um, for some reason, I thought it was a different size. So all of these ones will most likely be replaced or recropped, I should say. But yeah, to change it, all you have to do, we'll just do an example here. I'll just do this one here and we'll click on the image again. We'll go to embed codes and it will be this image URL here. Notice it is HTTP. We'll click on copy. We'll go back to our phone dashboard. We'll scroll down. We'll replace the image with this one here. We'll click submit all changes. And back here on our Cisco 525G phone, you can see that our wallpaper has changed. There it is. So that is how you change the wallpaper on your Hamshack hotline uh, phone provisioned with uh, through actually my 525G Cisco phone through the web interface. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, be sure to give a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. Hope to see you guys around here. If you have any questions, be sure to give me a call on the Hamshack hotline or shoot me an email. You can find that by looking me up on QRZ, W5JER, 7-3s for now.